in large part, my problem is that I'm a frustrated potter. So while I was finishing up my six-year, four-year degree in elementary ed, I took a class in pottery for non-art majors, and I found another passion. Something that I imagined in my heart and in my head somehow became a part of this physical world that we're in, and I could hold it in my hands. The remaining part of my inner conflict is a difference of philosophy between my inner grandmothers. Yeah, inner grandmothers. What? While both of my grandmothers have given me beautiful, loving memories, and they got along well with each other, they had very different ways of living and viewing the world. My dad's mom was thrifty, was a nice way to put it. I was always so impressed at how her house only had what she needed. I mean, there were pictures of grandkids. It took her forever to shop for groceries. She would compare the brands of everything and then her value by weight, not to even mention the coupons in tow. And now, I do that. My mom's mom loves form. I remember always being amazed in her kitchen and still am today. It's full of shelves and those shelves are full, full of water pitchers and uh, little creamer pitcher things, salt and pepper shakers, uh, juice glasses, Mrs. Butterworth's of varying ages and sizes, milk bottles, and mugs. It's probably safe to say that I have also acquired that love for form. Maybe I shouldn't think of myself as a potter anymore because I'm not making pottery currently. Are you a thing if you're not doing that thing? I still identify myself as a potter. And as a potter, the coffee mug, <laughs> it just strikes me. It's it's so personal and intimate. You may not notice so much the form of a coffee mug that works. Most people don't notice the form of a coffee mug unless they get one that has bad form. But let me give you some examples. What does the edge feel like against your lip? Uh, does it dribble down the side? every time you take a drink? You know, does it, does it cut into your finger right here? Is there any consideration for your thumb? Also, does it welcome the other hand to the party? I think so. My dad's mom has been gone from us for a little over 20 years now. In these last couple of days, it has been her that has been kind of nudging me in the direction of paring down this mug collection. So I found this old rotten box that she had kept in her storage shed yesterday. Now she only kept uh, storage jars and, uh, and, and letters and Christmas cards she had received from loved ones. She was too sentimental to get rid of them. But when I peeled away that brown newspaper that they were wrapped in, guess what I found? One of these old mugs had written on it, set of eight, four dollars. I can guarantee you, she did not pay that much. She talked them down, for sure. 
So there were eight of the one type and two of another type. So that is ten mugs. And like Grandma, I am too sentimental to not keep them. So I'm at this crossroads where practicality meets affection. A grudge match between the traits that I carry from Granny and Grandma. A happy medium will not be found. There will, however, be enough give and take with myself to return balance in the minefield that is my psyche and order to my cabinet. Baby. Baby. All right. Baby. I'm moving the markers once and for all. <laughs>